appeared uh, we were taking art of living courses happiness program i told you we both are happiness program teachers and throughout the pregnancy also we were doing lot of seva activities taking, taking yoga courses meditation courses taking arya janani you know uh, prenatal wellness sessions for pregnant women at nilofa hospital and lot of other things we were doing you know lot of positivity was there within us because of doing all these things and uh, we were do, doing the happiness program on that day particular day evening 3 hours was the program morning time i planned my maternity shoot just a casual shoot my brother was taking my photographs so i got ready well i went near our home there were a lot of trees we were taking clicking pictures suddenly i felt a gush of liquid going down so my water broke in my lamas classes they told if how to check if it's water or not in the lamas classes we usually get scenarios case scenarios and we have to discuss about the case scenarios we both got a scenario where the water breaks and how to handle the water break and how to, whether to panic or not we both got that and we discussed about all of that and we, we with, with the calmness in the mind only we checked it okay yeah. we was check whether it is healthy or not yeah. whether it is uh, a, Lick, like like huh. it's like or is it a urine is it any is there any color meconium stained or not with a happy mind we checked everything uh. and surprisingly like we got that scenario that's what happened in our labor again again nature's will right then i checked okay everything is well like it's it's like like or only i took necessary precautions we continued the shoot also we continued the shoot it, it, after that it happened two hours of shoot two hours of shoot we took like we are know, in the different poses and also taking yeah. the <laughs> you should that, see those pictures strength came because of this lamas, lamas. class only because other normal people if that water happens they, they run to the clinic run to they the, run to the hospital yeah. so we were at ease in the mind it's okay we already have, uh, get aware with that knowledge yeah. that nothing to get worried can still stay at home for next one or two days and we can wait for the uh, labor uh, to labor start, to start. Yeah. no other center nowhere else they'll give you the knowledge that if water breaks nothing is going to happen just chill out and go about your business just do whatever you're doing in other centers when i talked about this afterwards also to a lot of my friends water broke and you stayed at home how did it that happen already that started in our <laughs> parents yeah, and yeah. in laws also we didn't tell that to parents immediately because they'll be panic they didn't attend the lamas we attended the lamas came back home i gave a call to sanctum that see my water broke this is how it is going they asked me do you have, feel any contractions do you feel any pain i say no i don't feel anything right now so sister sunita told me that you your labor might start within 24 hours but sometimes that may be delayed as well which is normal but you have to come back to sanctum tomorrow maybe to get an antibiotic shot and get your ctg checked according to the protocol we knew all of this also because of lamas we know how informed. the protocol will go it it's not like it's new for us whatever sunita was saying we knew that if water breaks we have to wait for we can wait for at least 3 days outside it's just one day but in sanctum we no, not even one day they immediately will rush it yeah to... so some we knew the protocol and all so she she said one thing i would tell you was just relax now because if at all pain start any time in the night you may not have enough sleep so take as much rest as possible be chill you give us a call if anything happens i again got a call from our gynecologist himabindu ma'am she again confirmed everything she gave me assurance and everything in the evenings i in the evening 3 hours happiness program was there we didn't tell to anyone we both sat my my contractions were starting at that time i was having minimal contractions yet i took the course i was smiling throughout the session i was taking the course yet i was feeling some contractions some tightness here and there but it's okay you should see those pictures as well like you know uh, that was going on we were just doing our thing even though things were happening behind this came again because of the sanctum support then in the night in the sleep slowly my contraction started picking up and they were quite frequent uh, contractions he was sleep deep deeply asleep uh, but i was getting mild contractions i knew that this was contractions because i had an abortion previously i knew, i knew labor pains how they are so uh, i was getting all of that i didn't want to wake him up because probably this is really early labor it doesn't need him to be waked up i was going to the washroom and coming and once in the washroom i saw blood my uh, commod was full of blood i was panicked then i came and i saw that my pad was soaked with blood <laughs> then i gave a call immediately to the sanctum and i spoke to the gynecologist there himabindu ma'am she said this could be completely normal also don't need you don't need to worry mansa there will be little blood and all that i told i know there will be little blood but this is there is so much of blood 
even though i am a doctor i i need to say this here even though i am a doctor i have seen lot of labors and all only the oh, i was so panicked at that time i should say at that time oh my god blood i think we should run we'll go to the clinic and see probably this could be antepartum hemorrhage you know rub, abruption what not we should be checking and all that then we gave a call they said this could not be all of that but it would be good okay if you want to come you do come because we have to check the baby's heart rate also because you have this issue of baby's heart rate so okay come back hey, come but you may have to go back if we think that it is early labor so we took a decision okay we'll go we'll go the blood is ma alochanante ela so we took a decision okay we'll go we'll go the blood is ma alochanante ela undante ante we are very near to the delivery now బ్లడ్ రావడం నార్మల్ ఎందుకంటే మ్యూకస్ ప్లే గూడిపోయి వస్తున్నప్పుడు ఆ బ్లడ్ వస్తుంది అండ్ డైలటేషన్ వన్ సెంటీమీటర్ ఉంది మీరు చాలా వెయిట్ చేయాలి ఇక్కడ వెయిట్ చేయడం అనవసరంగా టైం వేస్ట్ మీరు ఇంటికి వెళ్ళి రిలాక్స్ అవ్వండి ఒకసారి ఇలా చూసుకుని ఓకే బట్ హియర్ వాట్ విడ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ లైక్ వి టోల్ విల్ టేక్ లిటిల్ టైమ్ అండ్ విల్ స్లీప్ హియర్ ఫర్ టూ అవర్స్ అండ్ దెన్ విల్ గో బికాస్ ఆల్రెడీ హోల్ నైట్ విడ్ ఇన్ స్లీప్ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ బ్లడ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇట్ టోల్ ఓకే రిలాక్స్ చిల్ అవుట్ స్లీప్ వెల్ అండ్ దెన్ యూ గో బ్యాక్ అగైన్ it's just one centimeter dilated so go so we slept i think it was a really good sleep intlo aithe ela padukune vallam kaademo we slept solidly for 2 hours and surprisingly there were lot of contractions at home lot of contractions while traveling but when i went there and after the per vaginal examination all i was sleeping there were no contractions when i was talking about the sanctum model of care with my other doctor friends there were pregnant women in my friends and there are gynecologists also in my friends and when i told them the policy is like we don't go to sanctum during the early labor we go only when the active labor starts that we'll know how big when we uh, you know time the contractions and there are at least five contract uh, you know every five minutes lasting for one, five minutes for one hour and all that they told how can you stay at home during early labor you have to go you never know when labor happens and one of the doctor told me there could be precipitate labor as well immediate labor can happen how can you wait but we know labor takes time labor it has to be given time i told them no that is how the policy is and when you stay at home actually during the early labor the labor progress is qu- quite fast but when you stay at the center you're waiting for it and you're too much into it and focusing that why am i not getting contractions and oh my god i should get contractions and all that you are not going to get when you're actually chilled out you're going about your business you're doing your everyday thing and everything you it when you're stress free and your your focus is away from the contractions then actually the labor progress is faster that's what we were told at sanctum also so then we came back home that day and then whole day we were like we were both chilling out we were talking about various things he was making me some food and everything we were talking and chilling out and all that we were listening to some songs we were trying to get some sleep and all that in the evening again there was happiness program we were there in the happiness program as well we the program got finished and there were a lot of people at our home because of the program we cooked for we cooked for our guests also we all had you know lot a big walk in the nature uh, in that evening my water broke my contractions were going on and our day anta ela undindi ante contractions halted but it was not zero i initially i was getting like probably once every fast fast ga undindi night anta but day time lo i was getting like two or three contractions in whole one and a half hour two hours low or okay, two contractions three contractions they were spaced out a lot but i was quite getting the contractions as well in the evening also when we were in the program and when my friends were all there also i was getting the contractions but they were very infrequent my friend uh, the close friends of us who were there with us uh, they they came home to you know assist us in the happiness program because i was having contractions they were shocked you're cooking you are in labor you're cooking i don't yeah that's how we have to be that's what vijay ma'am told me she told me just chill out then your your labor will progress well we were so happy we were laughing out having jokes still having some contractions in between i was holding his hand in between and then yeah i'm fine again cooking cutting vegetables and i like okay one contraction and then doing about the other thing having food and andram kalsi we went for a walk we were told that walking will help 
progress the labor so we had a good walk and all and then everything uh, settled down we came back home my sister my brother in law my brother my friends everywhere at home at that day so we all were sitting i was sitting on the birth wall we were all chatting and the contractions were coming going in the night around 9:30 to 10 o'clock i think the again yeah, labor picked, picked up, up. again yes. it was quite frequent me one could have come on one day ayipindi inka fast i think it's very close now active labor lo kochesi untam frequent ga frequent ga avutunnayi ana and me must stages gurtechukuntam anamata maaku one day ayindi kada next stage ki elevate ayi untundi so maybe maximum repada kanna ana ayipothundi ayipothundi emo that is our think it was midnight 2:30 like yeah the strong contraction phase start ayindi మేము ఒక్కొక్కటి ఒకటి చెక్ చేసుకుంటూ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ అన్ని మ్యామ్ అన్ని ఇన్ ద యాప్ వివర్ కౌంటింగ్ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ టైమింగ్ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ మ్యామ్ కి ఫోన్ చేస్తే ఒకసారి నాకు ఒక 10 మినిట్స్ 20 మినిట్స్ టైం తీసుకుని ఒకసారి మళ్ళా ఎలా ఉన్నాయి కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ హావ్ ఏ బాత్ షీ టోల్ మీ హావ్ ఏ బాత్ గుడ్ వాటర్ హాట్ వాటర్ బాత్ అండ్ దెన్ కాల్ మీ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ స్టిల్ ఎ లెల్లీ లేబర్ యు హావ్ ఏ బాత్ అండ్ లెట్ మీ నో అవి చేస్తూ అండ్ అగైన్ ఒకసారి మీరు మళ్ళా అబ్జర్వ్ చేయండి ఇంకో 20 మినిట్స్ ఆయన నాకు చెప్పండి అండ్ విత్ ఇన్ ద టైం ఆల్సో వి ఆర్ హావింగ్ సమ్ బాత్ అండ్ అగైన్ Uh, we are calculating and uh, indra so the frequent ga unnai they were uh, strong like um, some of them were lasting for 2 minutes also contractions some of them were very strong sometimes even i was getting once in every 3 minutes also each contraction once in every 3 to 4 minutes i am getting i'm like each contraction is lasting for 2 minutes i think this is active labor we were all you know excited and happy the intensity kanipistundi frequency baga untundi i think this is a very apt time to go to the same time the phone just adiga మ్యామ్ అన్న సరే వచ్చేసేయండి నో నో షీ డిడ్ సే ఇమిడియట్లీ కమ్ ఆఫ్ షీ డిడ్ టెల్ ఐ థింక్ దిస్ ఇస్ స్టిల్ ఎన్ ఎర్లీ లేబర్ టేక్ టైం టేక్ టైం అండ్ ఆల్ దట్ వి వెర్ ఐ టుక్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ బాత్ అగైన్ షీ కై కాల్ ఇట్ అగైన్ టేక్ వన్ మోర్ బాత్ అగైన్ రిలాక్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దట్ దట్ వెంట్ ఆన్ ఫర్ త్రీ టైమ్స్ అండ్ అట్ ద ఎండ్ ఐ టోల్ హర్ మ్యామ్ ఇట్స్ సో స్ట్రాంగ్ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ ఆర్ చాలా ఫ్రీక్వెంట్గా వస్తున్నాయి ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు టాక్ త్రూ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ అండ్ ఐ వాస్ డూయింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దట్ షీ టోల్ ఓకే దెన్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద సెంటర్ then we were both were super excited we clip pictures also during the contractions no this is i think tomorrow at this time we may have deli- we may have we delivering the baby this, and ink ee sar me avarukunna ante ekko in laws valni ekko avarni avaru communicate cheyadu silent ga ellu vachi ellu test chesukochu adu it was midnight 3 3:30 3:34 alla undi na time so silent ga avaru intlo andaru unnaru avarki cheppukondi silent ga we packed everything and we went and we met uh, we have a doctor there and she examined and said that the dilatation was just 1.5 cm <laughs> and we was looking at each, each other in the in the jerry 1.5 1.5 and then uh, again like okay there was a little bit of disappointment then we looked at our each other face each other's face and we started laughing then she told the contractions is not strong enough it will take time for you so you decide you want to go back to home it would be better if you go back to home మనం మేము ఇద్దరం డిసైడ్ చేసి అన్నాం వి విల్ స్టే బ్యాక్ ఎట్ సాయంత్రం బికాస్ ఇట్ విల్ బి టూ మచ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రెషర్ ఫర్ అస్ ఇఫ్ వి గో బ్యాక్ హోమ్ సార్ టెన్ లెవెన్ ఆ టైంలో మార్నింగ్ విజయమేమ వచ్చినప్పుడు షీ మీ అని చెప్తున్నాం మ్యామ్ ఇది కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ గట్టిగా వస్తున్నాయంటే షీ సెట్ దట్ నో ఇఫ్ ద కాంట్రాక్షన్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ సివియర్ యూ యూ వోంట్ లిజన్ టు మై ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఆల్సో కమ్ ఆన్ కమ్ ఆన్ స్టాండ్ అప్ అండ్ వాక్ she she started to stand up also when you have very strong contractions you won't listen to my words so we can still wait you relax <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile what was happening was there were too many calls from the home from my in-laws my his parents uh, my parents my parents were really hyper they were like more than 24 hours passed away after the water broke i think you should get a section done they got their background they, check they call to all the doctors they know my friends who are doctors who are gynecologists they call to all of them gynecologists told 24 hours is the maximum time we wait once the se- once the water breaks she can't wait more than that there will be a risk to the baby they have the trauma that i already have an abortion so this is a precious baby for them why take a risk so they are like it's okay get get section i think the place where where you are going is not a right place how can they wait for so long i think you have to change the hospital go somewhere else and get a section done why are they not offering you a section till then i just got talked to them i have full trust i have full faith in the care provider that i am going to i have full trust in my doctor no no don't now stop calling to me at all don't talk to me and i just cut the call and i told him whatever calls are coming don't let them come to me you handle so in the next few days that the story went on he handled all the calls he took whatever is coming up from the family and everything he made sure that i was not into all of that and i was completely relaxed that was very important also because when i was i didn't know i was not talking to too many people i was more relaxed 
because if they if they keep talking to the multiple people will keep telling me multiple advices and they will tell keep telling me do that do this you have to do that to do get your pains and that and all so we made sure that he i'm talking only to him he's probably handling multiple people but he made sure my environment is all positive happy and calm and serene So at on Tuesday morning, 10 to 11 o'clock, Vijay Ma'am came. She talked to us. She told, "You are getting contractions, but they're quite very infrequent and very, uh, you know, uh, very mild." So in the whole day, Mali same story, same as Monday. Daytime the contractions became very, very become very infrequent. Thank you for that day and the contractions. Again in the night time, they're picking up. Evening time, I had a provisional examination done. It was two centimeters dilated. That's it. After the whole day of contractions, already 48 40, hours. Yeah, already 48 hours done. Then Vijay Ma'am told me, "You can wait. It's okay. It's okay to wait. Just let let us be with the thing. Let's start the natural induction." So she uh, advised me for walking up and down the stairs, uh, breast pump, and some homeopathic medicines. So when uh, breast pump is not a Contractions actually little, actually little picked up. Mali whole up and down, up and down walks just so. No, no, the three stairs up and down. We were doing alternate uh, uh, stair walks and all of that. And I should say some interesting thing that happened during this time. In the evening, we were doing all the stairs and everything. He told me, should we just go out? We are there the whole day in the same room. I told, okay, okay, let's go out. We went downstairs on the main road, and uh, Ratnadeep is there. We went there. We shopped some juices, ice creams, fruits, and everything. And there was pani puri over there. He looked at me, and I, he knows that I like pani puri. He told, do you want to have pani puri? I said, yes. I was having contraction. It was this was just this sanctum just downstairs. The pani puri thing is there. Then we went there. I was having pani puri and I was like holding him for one contraction. Uh, and then one more pani puri. And then uh, then the pani puri was was looking at me. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> But we both were having great time. Like <laughs> and then he was like he was making sure I do everything that I like. Then we went back home. Went back to the room, excited. Bought all ice creams. Bought all kinds of food that I like. One point that was really uh, nice at Sanctum is they are never restricting the food. Yeah. Uh, generally, in outside hospital, they keep it nil oral, so they may have to rush for the surgery. So they won't allow to eat whatever they want. But they, Vijay Ma'am said one point: that you are going for a walk. So you should not go unprepared. You have to be very prepared for the body. So you have to eat whatever you want. Even the soldiers have food when they go for war. You are going to birth a baby. You need energy, right? You have to have food and all. During the whole pregnancy, we both believed in prenatal influence of on the baby. So I would talk to my baby every day. We both will tell stories to our baby every day. We connected to the baby a lot during the pregnancy. So he would say, talk to the baby and tell tell her that we both will do it together. I know you're going to come out. I'm excited about you. Talk to that baby, and he will keep talking to the baby and we holding the baby and then I'll visualize that the baby is coming and I'll smile. So the contraction would feel so sweet. It's a process. A one foot closer to my baby. So it wouldn't feel so painful. I can say, but when it is reflecting in her, I was surprised. How can she uh, withstand in that pain for one one and a half minute uh, when I am just uh, making her? Give the word power. He was giving the word power, and he was his presence. He was cool. He was very cool. He was very calm. He was with a smile. Just looking at him, I would feel. I'm fine, and we both will smile together. We'll clasp our hands, and we'll go through the pain. I would want to say one point here. I would, I never felt so intimate with my husband any time than that time. I would say during the pre, during the labor, clasping each other's hands, looking into each other's face, and smiling through it, and being there in that moment, I felt very intimate with my husband. Then. I felt this. We both are one now. There is no two of us. Like both, we both are into one energy. one consciousness i can say we both are, in, are into so much on the same res we were resonating with each other there were not much words also we would look at each other and understand and go through it it was so beautiful i would then remember there were so many conversations about small little things not agreeing upon each other and having lots of fights before sometimes but how at the time of labor we are just resonating with each other how beautiful birthing is <laughs>